I'm here with uh, Ian Cobain, ahead of Gloucester's first T20 NatWest Blast game of 2015. Um, Ian, we've got uh, Middlesex coming up on Friday night. Um, what do you expect from them um, and what can the, uh, the Gloucester fans expect from the Gloucester team this year? Well, obviously Middlesex have got a pretty good side and a few, few big players, obviously Steve Finn and, and David Milan um, being two of the big, two of the big names. Um, so yeah, um, things to expect from us, uh, probably a lot of excitement. Um, we're obviously playing a, a good brand of 2020 cricket in our in our warm up games. Um, it's been pretty exciting. Some big runs and lads are balling quick in our field, and it's uh, we're looking like a pretty good unit in the in the field. So yeah, it's going to be exciting times. And obviously, two new coaches this year and a couple of new players. Um, how do you think that will affect the makeup of the team and the way you go about your business in the T20? It's going to be pretty. It's a pretty balanced team. Because, um, all our bowlers, all our bowlers can bat as well. Um, so we bat, we bat real deep. Um, with the coaches, with um, obviously Rich and, and Ian, it's exciting and a lot of energy has been brought to the team. So the lads are the lads are really looking forward to it. And again, you mentioned um, Ian Harvey with a real pedigree in, in one day in the short forms of the game, um, and also you've got the likes of Peter Hanscom who's played with the Big Bash, and obviously uh, Michael Klinger to come back. Um, how do those guys help you set up for the, uh, the competition? Do you sort of pick on their uh, their knowledge for the nuggets of advice? What help have they given you so far? Yeah, absolutely. Ian's been Ian's been really a uh, real great help to the to the younger bowlers. Um, just picking his brains and and thinking about how he went about the game has been it's been great for those lads. And obviously having Michael and Pete who had brilliant campaigns in the Big Bash, it's great to just pick their brains and see how they go about things and how they approach different scenarios and. And stuff like that, yeah. So yeah, it's it's brilliant to have them around. You can learn so much from them. And um, what are the ambitions uh, from a personal point of view and from the team for this campaign? Well, obviously as a team, we want to we want to look to progress and, and make ourselves get ourselves to the finals. Um, we got to the quarterfinals a couple of years ago, and it'd be nice to replicate that. Um, from a personal point of view, I just want to just contribute as much as I can really, and, and see if I can get get a few out of the middle and get a few runs.